Hi there. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick run through of what we've been doing um, with the Godot game development engine, which is something Julian discovered. Um, he's been working away getting this running with his Oculus uh, Quest headsets, um, and we've been connecting those two together um, because we want to create some kind of collaborative VR environments to play in. Now, um, as a part of that, one of the things we've done before is we want to get information in and out of these virtual gaming environments. And to do that, MQTT is, is a, a really good choice of protocol to, to move information around. Um, so what I thought I would do is I would um, implement MQTT inside this Godot gaming system, um, which I've now done. So to do that, I took some code from the lovely people at PyCom. Uh, they had a, a Python implementation of an MQTT client, which I've converted to the um, Godot scripting language, which is called GDScript. As uh, other ways of doing it, but I, I thought that GDScript would give us a level of platform portability. So um, that's working now uh, in a kind of alpha state, and I've got this configured up as a as a plugin that we can plug into our, our upcoming games and environments. And it gets loaded into this particular really simple game that I put together from a tutorial. Um, and what we're doing here is we're, we're going to connect up to a, a server. As we do that, uh, we're also connecting to a local MQTT broker that I've got running on this machine. And you can see when we do that, we get a, a message coming in. Hello world, which is is nice. Now, if I then um, publish a message through my broker from, you know, if you like the real world, the world of uh, IoT sensors, maybe then uh, you see that pop up and that's now inside this gaming environment so we can get information backwards and forwards uh, similarly if i subscribe for example to a topic on the, on the vr topic we see a lot of zero positions coming in um, and what's happening is the position of this little sprite guy here um, is being published so as we move the sprite around uh, we can see that the the vector of the x and y position is is changing and for those who have seen the kind of uh, the Minecraft work that I did a while ago, it's a similar kind of idea. It's all about getting information inside this environment uh, out. Um, and you could imagine that we could publish sensor information on air quality or traffic conditions or anything that we want into our virtual environment now quite simply. So I'm looking forward to um, being able to take this on and roll it into the, the great work that Julian's doing with the Oculus, and we'll see if we can hook up uh, the IoT sensor world to the virtual Oculus world, and, um, and see what comes out of that. Should be interesting.